Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we'll be looking at this problem called LRU Cash. And if you're new to the channel, we have software engineering interview questions, as well as how to use various technologies. If you like this content, please hit the subscribe and like button below and be sure to com leave any comments. Also follow me on social media, all the links are in the description below and check out my website, which has supplementary materials, as well as content that's very similar to what's on this YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so this problem, we design and implement a data structure for least recently used cache, which means that when there's a specific capacity, once that is reached and we want to add something else to the cache, then we evict the item that's least recently used. And it says it should support the following operations, get and put. So the get function takes in the key, get the value. Value is always positive of that key. If the key exists in the cache, otherwise return negative one. Then we have a put function, inputs our key and value, and then we set or insert a value. The key is not already present. When the cache reaches capacity, it should invalidate the least recently used item before inserting a new item. Cache is initialized with a positive capacity. And the follow-up is to do both operations in constant time. So <clears throat> I can run through this example and see how this could possibly be done. So when we do, we know that capacity is two. And then we put in one, one. So we can have some data structure, DS. So we'll take in one, one. Then we put in two, two. And then we get one. So once we get one, so let's have, indicate this is the least recently used and then here most recently used. So when we do get one, we are accessing this. And so then we must uh, remove it and then put it to the front. Since this is the least recently used cache. And once we act, do cache.get1, we access this one. <clears throat> so we should add it. Then the next thing is we put 3-3. Three, three. And then we know that the capacity is max. And it says here, when the cache reaches capacity, we invalidate the least recently item, which is 2-2. Two, two. Once that is evicted, then we add 3-3. Three, three. All right. Then we do get two, and it's no longer in the cache, so it returns negative one. Then we put four, four. All right. And then we do get one, and it's not found. Then get three and get four. We see we get these two. Uh, but when we do get three, we have to be sure to remove it. And then place it in the front, since it's, it has now been accessed and is the most recently used. And so we see here that we want a data structure where we can remove the least recently used and that is done something similar to first in first out uh, queue. Yeah. Now what we also want to do is as we're adding if we want constant uh, get, it would be nice to use a dictionary. And so there is a data structure in Python where we're able to have these two things. Essentially, what we want to have constant time for both of these operations is to have a doubly linked list well, and a hash map of pointers. That way, anytime we need to do this swap where we get this and we want to swap it here, we can break this pointer and then move this to the front. I think for today, we'll look at a simpler solution, which is to use the order dictionary in Python. And the order dictionary is different than the regular dictionary in Python in that it keeps track of the order of all the keys that are inserted. 
normally a dictionary will have the keys uh, the key order that's a little arbitrary but for the order dictionary it remembers which order that the keys are inserted second thing that's good about order dictionary is that you can remove the element from the front or from the back so it could be like a fifo pop or it could be a uh, Uh, le last in first out uh, pop so it has that flexibility and for us we want the FIFO pop yeah so first thing is we need to store our capacity other thing is we need to have our map which is the order dictionary so we'll import so that we can use it and then self dot map equals org. All right. And then if we get we saw that if the key's not in the map, then we return negative one right here. And if it is in the key, then, or if it is, the key is in the map, then we will update, then we will return the value. But uh, if we access this, we want to delete it, and then once we insert it, it will be in the least recently used position. So to do that, first thing is we need to get the value. Get the value, because the next step is to delete the key. So if we delete it before getting the value, we will not know what the value would be to add. Now we add the value to the key back. And that way, uh, if we were to do, let's say our order dict is looks like this, and we do get three, then we delete this. Well, first, we store the value. So we say value equals three. Then we delete it. And then we add it to the order dictionary. And we get this. The last thing we do is we turn the value. Now for put, we check if the key is, we set or insert if it's not already present. So if it is present, then we're doing an update, which is a set. And similarly to the get, when we do a set, if it's already in the order dictionary, we will need to change its position. So we will need to delete it and then move it to the least recently used, or move it to the uh, most recently used position. So if the key is in the map, then we'll, let's say we're doing put for two, then we will first delete this. Actually, these two should be reversed. Yeah, <clears throat> sorry about that. And if this was four, four, and I do put for two, then we would delete this, not recently reused, recently used anymore, and we don't need to store the value like in get because we have a new value to insert. Yep, and then we assign it. So then we get, boom, okay, so now we have most recently used and least recently used.
Now, the next thing to address is if we are at capacity. So if we're at capacity, then we need to remove the least use to need use, which if we see here, this is the first and first out, three, three rows twice before, or two. And so we first check if the capacity is, the current capacity equals our capacity. And then if it is, we pop the last. And so when we do last equals false, this means the pop will come from uh, FIFO. So first in, first out. Uh, if we do last equals true, then it will be LIFO and then it, or LIFO and it will be last in, first out. Regardless whether or not we have a order dictionary with capacity or or uh, if we're below capacity, we are still going to add the key uh, value. So that's the last thing that we do. All right, now let's uh, go to the code, make sure everything's always a front collection, so pull order dict, all you can, set that capacity equals capacity. Set that map equals order dict, key not in set that map, return negative one. in the map store the value ah i see i said values this should be value then we delete return the key assign that value and return that value and then we put if key is in the map then we delete it since we're accessing it we need to move it to the front then we add the key value back and then if it's at capacity we will pop the first and first out, and then assign. All right, good to me. Okay, great. Looks like it does submission work. Okay, so for the runtime, it's a constant for get and put, because you see here, what we do is we check if something's in the map. That takes constant time since we use a, a hash function. <laughs> and then deleting from a map also is constant and then us inserting something into the map is also constant well maybe for the amortized uh since there could be collisions depending on the implementation of order dict uh, so i need to look into that and then for put it's also deleting from a order dict and popping, these are all things that take constant time. And then space complexity is constant since we only store what is in our output and we're not storing anything extra. So uh, yeah, constant space, constant time. And yep, that's the problem for today. I hope you guys all learned as much as I did and also had fun. And yeah, if you guys find this useful, please like and subscribe and share with anyone else you might think will benefit from this. And the last thing is I hope you guys all enjoy the rest of your day.